Oh, hello, mister. What you eyeing? What you eyeing? Phantom's eyeing his favorite treat. I just cut up some watermelon for Phantom and for myself, of course. And I don't know if any of you know this, but watermelon is a very healthy, refreshing treat for dogs. As I mentioned in a lot of my videos, I really don't like to give him sugar. So I do give him fruit that he just loves. Not all dogs like fruit, but Phantom sure does. And I don't mind giving it to him. It's a natural, healthy treat. And I make most of his treats as well. I make a peanut butter oatmeal uh, and I combine that with an egg white to bind it and sweet potato as well and I just bake it in the oven and then I slice them in slices and he gets a good treat maybe once or twice a week I don't like to give him treats every day I gotta watch his weight as you know too much weight on the hips is no good for the dogs so I gotta keep him nice and lean so he doesn't get treats all the time just once in a while and I don't like to give him all that sugar and cookies and candy, and which I see a lot of people do, and ice cream. Ice cream is okay on occasion, and of course, never chocolate, because chocolate is toxic for dogs. He gets a tiny little vanilla cone, and he just loves it, and it's just once in a while, like a special occasion. So I'll just keep giving him one of his favorite fruit treats, which is watermelon. And sometimes I freeze them. I buy them in the summertime, and because we don't have them in the wintertime, I buy them in the summertime and I chop them up like you see right here, and I freeze them all winter long, so he gets a special treat even in the wintertime. There you go, honey. And we're in his favorite spot. We're in his gazebo, which is all netted. And like I mentioned in a few of my videos, Phantom uh, suffers terribly from spider bites. And uh, definitely ticks are very dangerous around here since I live in the countryside. So he sits in a netted area most of the day until we go out for our evening walk. But if it's too hot, he's in the house in the air conditioning. Or he's in the lake where he loves to swim. As you know, they are water breeds. Phantom, you want another piece of watermelon? Here you go, honey. Here you go. So Google it, folks. Watermelon is very good for dogs. I hope you're all having a wonderful day. It is Tuesday. And uh, we'll say ciao ciao for now. Remember, keep your beautiful animals out of the direct sunlight. Never walk them on hot pavement, beaches, stones, or the deck as well. It can get very hot for their de delicate paws. And keep them hydrated. And if you are going to sit outside with them in the summertime, just sit in the shade. It's hard enough that they're wearing a fur coat. So if you want to keep them a little cooler in the summertime, but you do want to enjoy the summer, keep them in the shaded area and always give them water. Keep them hydrated. So we'll say ciao ciao for now. Here, honey. Here you go. It's all water-based anyway. Here you go, my love. Enjoy your day. Enjoy your evening, wherever you are around the world. And we'll see you again soon. Say ciao ciao everybody. Good thing mama makes your bibs. Look at this. Look at the drool. I know folks. Yes, they drool. I'm going to get thumbs down because of the drool. But that's the Newfoundland folks. If you don't like the drool, don't get a Newfie. Or don't get a dog that has jowls. <laughs> Cheers to Montreal everyone. Stay safe. And to him. Bye bye everybody.